Hello there chums, it is I, Captain Stephen Exo, and today I'm going to be looking into trying to make something worth a shed load of units because my units are on the slightly low side at the moment because I've upgraded my little shuttle. So I've sent out all my frigates on missions and now I'm going to be debriefing all the commanders and we'll see if we get anything tasty from there. And some of the things that we get, although they might not look that tasty on the outside, sometimes you can um, mix them with other things to make them super tasty. So here you go, let's just debrief this guy. Let's see what we're gonna get. Lovely jubbly, Albion Pearl, Gravitino Balls. Ooh, okay, well that will sell for a bit, but not a lot. We've got a load of units anyway, a couple of hundred thousand, that's not too bad. We've just got one out on this one. Let's, uh, let's see how this little shippy done. Okay, here we go. Hello there, King Rollo, how are you? Awesome. Oh no, he's still on leave. He's got a he's got a little while left to go. Jeez. Okay. All right. Well, maybe not all these missions are ready to be called back, but we will see. Um, yeah. Let's have a look and see how this one's doing. Righty ho. Speak with commander. No, I can't debrief him. So they're still out as well. Another hour there. Okay. Well, it looks like I came up here a little bit too freaking soon. All right. Well, through the power of editing, everything will be honky dory for you guys. But yeah, I've got to wait. <laughs> I saw a message to say my frigates had returned. I just assumed it was all. Okay. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Cheerio for now. Well, how do chums? Right. Note to self: if the actual ships on the screen are red, they're damaged. If they're blue they're still in progress and if they're green they're ready for debrief so they've finished their mission so yeah a little bit of a there's, there's, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it so we go debrief commander let's see what we get from this guy it's a lovely jubbly and what do we have brilliant Herox uh, Aronium a Viking dagger Important announcement time. Right, okay, so you saw there I got Aronium from one of my freighter missions. But yeah, I'm going to be jumping over to a stasis farm, and there are three bases at this stasis farm. Each does a different gas, and you may find that similar to whichever stasis farm you go to. So if you're not lucky with your frigate missions, this is probably the best way to build um, stasis devices. But sometimes you can get super lucky and get halfway there to construct in one. So that's why I put in the frigate missions at the start. <laughs> Important announcement over. Okay, that jumps right. So I'm at the portal now. I got this a portal address off of uh, Reddit, and it, his name, the person's name that put this up, is just a string of numbers, a little bit like the string of numbers we're seeing down at the bottom there. So yeah, let's just go through and we'll have a look, see who, at who actually built the bases, and I'd share the names that way. So here we go, activate portal. So here we go, brilliant. Now we have ourselves a reflection or tiki face, a sunset. Bertie McBoat face, a rocket, lovely jubbly, Triforce, hello there Zelda, and we got ourselves a flux capacitor, a Y shape or tree, we got ourselves the double sunset, I love it when there's a double, we've got ourselves a waypoint followed by a double Triforce, heck yes, and lastly a gem or voxel, there we go, lovely jubbly, and that is now activated, activated Monday! How? Kablooey. I need to get some of these words from t-shirts, don't I? Heck yes. Right, so let's head on in. Pow pow! Fish out of water. There you go. That's the same name on Reddit. The string of numbers. So I don't know whether that means anything to anyone, but it certainly doesn't to me. But yeah, that's that's the same username on Reddit. So thank you, A8 blah 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 blah. Awesome. Thanking you. Okay, right, so I'd imagine the base is going to have exactly the same sort of username for it. There's a white star over there. And what else have we got? Because there's, there's, oh, there's a base not so far over there. And just, we're six minutes away. And we've got, like, a comm station here. Farmer Supreme, you rule safe travels. Freaking excellent. So yeah, so let's head back down. Okay first base and we are arriving and yes it is exactly the same username okay so it is going quite uh, that must have been as I flew over his base it must be a big one let's take this slow and we're all right we've got a landing pad over here chums now what I would say is if you're coming here perhaps turn off multiplayer let's just make sure my multiplayer is off it you normally is so let's just go into the network disabled excellent eh? So there we go, invite only, great. So no one can jump in and start robbing these farms as I'm here. So there we are, excellent. Well, let's go into this first base and we'll see what we've got. 
So what I'm thinking of doing is just ransacking this base for everything it's got and putting it all over into my freighter when I get back to my own neck of the woods. And yeah, hopefully, there you go, that's nitrogen. So that's that we need that, that we really need for the base component. So I'm just going to throw that over to my freighter straight away. Lovely. And what's this one here? Yep, paraffinium. Nice one. Okay, brilliant. So I'm going to put that over to my freighter as well. So I'm just going to get everything from inside these bases and I'm going to be putting it over to my freighter. So here we are. So I'm just going to do the first dome, but then I'm going to cut. And then hopefully through the power of editing, we'll reconvene. Okay, so every time I do that, it's going to go into my exosuit. I'm just going to pick it up and throw it into my freighter. Alright, so I'm going to run around and I'm going to do my little um, shopping spree. And I'll be right back with you, so don't you go away. Okay chums, well I'm back at my actual freighter. Now the first thing I need to make really is the iridescite. Now that's made out of three yellow things, one being erodium, which I got on my freighter mission, the other's granite and the other's mango gold. Now to make those you're going to need ionized cobalt, then you're going to need either phosphorus for the mango gold, and for the granite you're going to need dioxide and the ionized cobalt, and for the erodium, if you didn't get them on the freighter missions, you're going to need paraffin and the ionized cobalt. And you can mix all these together inside of your actual freighter's inventory space. So yeah, once you have those three things, that makes the iridescite, you can sort of stick that over to one side. And the next thing I like to make is maybe the quantum processor. The quantum processor is made from a circuit board and a superconductor. The circuit board itself is made from a heat capacitor and polyfiber, both of which come from mainly plant materials. So the heat capacitor, for example, comes from solarium mixed with frost crystal. And the polyfiber is cactus flesh and star bulb. So yeah, we picked all that stuff up from that base that we went and visited, which is awesome. The superconductor itself is made from a semiconductor and enriched carbon. The semiconductor is made from nitrogen salt and fermetic condensate. That's a mouthful. And yeah, to make those, you're going to need a lot of condensed carbon. And this is where the gases came in handy. So the sulfurene and the condensed carbon is what makes the fermetic condensate, but the nitrogen salt, that's condensed carbon, and the nitrogen gas, so that's where you need the gases, and then you mix those together, and uh, yeah, that will make you a superconductor, once you've got your semiconductor and the enriched carbon. So the enriched carbon comes from condensed carbon and radion, whereas the semiconductor comes from fermetic condensate and nitrogen salt, which we've already explained, the nitrogen salt and the fermetic condensate. But if you're getting a little bit mixed up with all of this, because it is freaking confusing as heck, heck yes, um, you can just pick up the No Man's Sky Assistant app, which I put in the actual video description, and it helps immensely for making this thing. So the last thing is the cryogenic chamber. Now the cryogenic chamber is made from living glass and a cryo pump. The living glass is made from glass and lubricant. And uh, yeah, if you don't know how to make the glass, you make that out of frost crystal. And the lubricant is made from gamma root and fecium. Okay, you can also make glass from um, the stuff that you get from your terrain manipulator, the silicon powdery stuff. Okay, so the cryo pump, that's made from fermetic condensate, which we've already touched on. That's condensed carbon and sulfurene, the gas and hot ice. Now the hot ice is enriched carbon and the nitrogen salt. Again, I think we touched on the nitrogen salt, but as a reminder, it's condensed carbon and nitrogen. And the enriched carbon is condensed carbon and radion. So that's the gases again for this one. So yeah, we've got an abundance of gases. So we're all good for gases. The thing I kept running out of was freaking condensed carbon. So yeah, some of the uh, leftover sort of uh, the cactuses or the gamma I turned into carbon then I turned that into condensed carbon if you mix some oxygen with the carbon you actually get a bigger yield so if you've got some oxygen on the surplus throw that in there you'll be glad you did you can make a shed load of condensed carbon and a lot of those ingredients you saw there needed condensed carbon that is the catalyst and that's the thing that I kept running out of so once you've actually made them you can see here I'm now doing it in stacks of 20s there so yeah that's fantastic I made a shed load of stasis 
people's devices in a very short space of time so a massive great big thank you to the maker of that uh, stasis farm freaking heck yes that that helped massively and yes like i say over on the corner of the exchange there are different farms for different platforms so this was ps ps4 and this is normal mode so make sure you get the mode right as well otherwise uh, yeah you, you might not see what i saw but there we go so now i can sell all these little goodies look at that i'm gonna get a freaking wedge of cash now i could have duplicated these and got even more but no i think i'm just gonna go back to the farm and do this legit way i'm actually going to earn something which is freaking great and i'm actually enjoying doing this it's actually been good fun so yeah i hope you guys manage to find yourselves a stasis farm and become unit rich heck yes there you go and uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing but like i say you can pick up the no man's sky assistant app the link is in the video description so hopefully you're going to check that one out it makes things a heck of a lot easier i'm just going to hit up a save and yeah i'm good to go we'll see you guys next time thank you very much for watching goodbye or goodbye <laughs> Second important announcement, so this is the No Man's Sky Assistant app, so yeah, you don't have to put anything into your memory, heck no, you just fire up the app, type in what you're looking for, so stasis devices in this case, type in and type type, and then up it comes with all the ingredients you need for stasis devices, I know, it's freaking sneaky, yeah, and this is available on iOS and also Android, and the link is in the video description. <laughs> stasis devices guide complete. Next time, see you later. Bye bye. There's multiple ways to support my channel. Patreon being one. Thank you, Patreons. And I also have YouTube membership. Thank you, YouTube memberships. Yep, there's multiple tiers there for everyone. Be sure to check both out if you're thinking of supporting me that way. Hitting a like or a subscribe or leaving a comment. I love reading comments. There's another way to support the channel. Or there's merch if you want to find a dandy pair of socks or a t shirt heading over to Teespring. Or just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and watch a little more. Hit join or sub. Heck yes. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.